How's it going everyone? This is Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy and today I'm going to be showing you how to design simple pop-up cards in Adobe Illustrator. And I'll also show you how to set up your designs in Cricut Design Space. There are many different styles of pop-up cards, but today I'll just be showing you one method. So let's get going. The first thing you're going to do is go over to your toolbar and grab your rectangle tool. You can also just use the shortcut M and that will get you there also. So we're going to be doing a 5x7 card today, and so in order to do that, we are going to make the card 7 inches wide, and then actually 10 inches tall since it's going to be folding in half. Okay, now I just need to center this. And then I'm going to create another layer on top um, by hitting Command C and then Command F. I'll change this to a lighter pink. And then I'm going to just um, make this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to make the width 6.5 and the height um, 9.5. And this will just give it a little bit of a border all the way around the edge. Okay, so the main thing with pop-up cards is going to be deciding where we want cut lines and where we want score lines. Um, let me hide this layer real quick. And you can see I already have a guide right here to show me where the center is. And I'm going to create a score line that goes um, all the way across. And just as a note, I like to do all my score lines in this like bright green color over here. Um, you can do them in whatever color you like, but I do suggest differentiating your score lines and cut lines by color. And so if you're following along, uh, my score lines are going to be in green and all the lines I'm going to be using and deciding our cut lines are going to be in this bright pink. So to create a line, I'm just going to get my line segment tool, which you can grab over here, or you can just hit backslash. And I'm just going to drag it while holding shift all the way across. I'll hide my guide here so that it's not in the way. Oh, and I need to make it green. There we go. Okay, so now that these are done, this is my main card. Um, area and so I'm just going to hit command G and group those together and I'm not going to worry about them for a little while so I'm just going to lock that layer. Alright we're also going to want a score line across the center of this card piece but we're going to add that one a little bit later. Okay turning my guideline back on what I'm going to be doing for this card is I'm going to um, put the word hello onto it and make it a pop-out design. So I have my typed out word here already. I'm just going to move it onto my card. Come on, center. There we go. And then that needs to come to the front so I can see it. I'll change it to this color. Okay. So I have my word here, and I'm going to be using kind of a big bold font. Um, in this case, let's see, it's called Source Serif Variable Black. You can create pop-up designs in pretty much any font, but I have found that this one is a pretty easy one to work with, and so that's why I'm going to be using it today. Okay, so now that I have my word, I'm actually going to change this to Outlines. So I need to go up to Type and select Create Outlines. This will change all of my letters to be separate elements rather than actual type files. So I also am going to lock this layer so it's not getting in my way right now. Okay, and I you can see that it changed the um, these letters to be all these different little pieces. I don't really want that, so I'm going to just merge them together real quick. I'm just using my Pathfinder tools to do this. All right, and the O's already okay. All right, now that my type is ready to go, um, what I'm going to do is decide how far out I want my letters to come from my card. So I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool again, and I'm going to create a little rectangle on top of my letter H in this case. And I'm gonna line it up as best I can with the left side of the H. Okay, and I want um, my entire word to pop out about half an inch from the card. So I'm just going to go over here and see 
I'm actually pretty close. It's actually 5.6. I'm just going to change that to 0.5 just to keep it the same all the way across. Line that back up with the top of my H. And there we go. Now I'm just going to copy this and add a half an inch section to the top of each of my letters. Okay, now that we have those sections added to the top of each of our letters, we just need to move everything down to where it needs to be. To do that, um, we don't need to do any real measuring. We can just copy one of these and paste it, whoops, paste it in front. Then I can add it to the bottom. I'm going to take all of these and I want to drag these so that the bottom of each letter hits the bottom of this rectangle. Then I can just get rid of that rectangle and now I can know that all of my letters are in the proper place. This is what's going to help it all pop out half an inch from the card when it's done. Alright, but now we need to turn these all into cut and score lines. The first thing I'm going to do is actually before, before I do that, I'm going to change these all to outlines. And um, everywhere that there's these lines on top of the letters, I'm going to make a line and make it a score line. So those are all there because I'm going to need to use those as folds later on. Um, but I don't want them getting in, a, in the way for my next step, so I'm just going to group these together and hide them real quick so you can see what happens next. Now that these are all together, I need to merge them, so I'm going to click the Unite button in the Pathfinder menu. Alright, so if we wanted this to be completely cut out of this rectangle, then this would be perfect and we would be done. But since we're trying to make a pop-out card, we actually need to change some of these to score lines instead of having them all be cut lines. For now, I'm going to make them all look like cut lines by changing them to my hot pink color. But, for instance, we don't want these top lines cutting out. We want them to be folded instead of cut. So, in order to do that, um, I need to add an anchor point right here. And I can do that just by hitting the plus sign or by going over to your pen tools and then click add anchor point. I'm going to add an anchor point right there and then delete it. And I'm just going to do the same thing all the way across. Okay, so now none of these will be cut out, but I still want to make a green line to indicate that I want them folded. Now we just basically need to do the same thing to the bottom lines. All right, with all of these score lines in place, I am just going to unhide my previously created score lines and add all of my new ones to that same group. So I've got all of my green score lines grouped together, and now I want to group all of my pink lines together. Hopefully the vision for this card is starting to take shape, and I'm sorry and I apologize if it's still not making a lot of sense, but I promise that this is going to turn out. <laughs> okay, let's hide our guide again and we want to make our score line to go across the center of this lighter pink layer of the card. Instead of just making a line all the way across the middle like we did with the background card, um, we don't really want to fold these, um, we don't want to put a fold on top of these letters. So we're going to have to go in between each of the letters while creating our line and just make sure to keep it all on the same level. Everything looks as it should, and now we just need to save it. So I'm just going to get rid of any extra stuff I have going on before I export it to an SVG file. And then I'm going to group everything besides um, this score line and the back card together. And with these two groups, I'm ready to save it as an SVG file.
here I am in Cricut Design Space and I'm ready to upload my card. I'm just going to go to Upload Image, drag my pop-up card file, and save it. Here it is. Okay, so one annoying thing about Cricut Design Space is that it, you can't really tell that my lines are green or pink at this point if just by looking at them. Um, so first I'm going to ungroup everything. This is actually a really important step. Make sure you ungroup everything. And then if I look actually and click on one of my lines, this one for instance, it looks gray, but if you look up here in the line type section, it shows you that it is in fact green. Okay. So what we're going to do is find, this is a group of all pink lines, as you can see. This is a group of all green lines. I'm going to change all of these green lines to score. And the pink lines, I'm not going to do anything to. I'm just going to leave them alone. So same thing with the back card. This line is green. Change it to score. With, all of the, with both of these selected, I'm going to hit attach. And then with this entire group, um, it has all of my pink cut lines and all of my green score lines along with my light pink card. I'm going to hit attach. And that's it. It's ready to go. And here's the finished result. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a few useful tips and have fun designing your very own pop-up card.